Hey you guys, what's up? It's Mejia's Max Tutorials. I have not made a video in a super long time, but I'm making one now. Um, some people, since I'm a photographer, some people were asking me, Michaela, how do you edit your photos? And I'm going to demonstrate today on how I edit my photos in Photoshop. So I took somebody to see me photos this year, and that was one of the pictures. And the color looks kind of dull, you know. And so I'm going to edit this one in Photoshop to make it look like this. So you want to edit your photo up in Photoshop. Okay, the first thing you want to do is click. Here, I'll make it so. And to do that, you just press F, what I pressed. Um, okay, double click background. <clears throat> Leave it as layer. You can name it whatever you'd like, but you're going to end up merging it. Just press OK so it unlocks it. And now you can duplicate it and just leave it as I don't usually name those. Okay, so when you have the second layer, click on it. Oh, and you may wanna make sure that your colors panels over here is uh, black and white, just the default ones. And you can actually make that default by pressing D. Go to the second layer here and go into these and you go into hard light. And you're like, oh, that looks terrible but actually you can change the opacity to make it look however much you like. And I like it a little bit more, so it pops, you know, a little bit more color in there. So now instead of looking like this, you have it looking like this. And now I want you to, you press, when you're selected on this layer, press shift and then select the second, or the first layer, right click and go down to merge layers. So now that's one layer. Um, now, uh, I don't usually like this, like the background back here. Um, I usually like to have that a lot more blurrier. So you can go and select your selection tool and just select the back, let it load. And um, you might think that I actually blurred this side here. I actually didn't, that is part of the photo. Anyways, when you have this back selected, you could just go to blur. And I'll just blur it a little bit. And you could just do that blurriness to your liking. Um, one is fine for me. Anyways, select this um, rectangular marquee tool. And if you're not selected on it, you can just press and hold that. And you have all your options here. Just pick on the rectangular one. And make a box on the photo. And then go up here to refine edge. Now, you can have all your things here, however you want, all your settings and stuff, but I like this, and if you don't know how to set it up, just pause the video here and set them up how I have them, because this is easy. Anyway, you want to make sure that your smooth is at 100, and your feather is um, all the way. Well, I like to have them all the way, because it just looks better. And press OK. And then it's gonna, you know, make all these selections and stuff. But once it's done, there's gonna be rounded corners here on the edges of what you have selected. Okay, so it's done loading now. And see how your edges are like that? We'll press Shift Command I and it inverts it like it did there. Press Shift Command I and it makes the opposite. You can do it back and forth, it doesn't change. But when, when you're done with it, and you have it like this, you want to make sure that you see the marching ants, that's what they call it, the selection around the outside too. Okay, and uh, make a new layer over here on the edge. Make sure that your front color is black, because that is vital. And then select your paint bucket tool, paint the outside, and then press Shift, Command, Invert again. And if you don't want to press the buttons, you could just go to inverse right here. But um, you want to invert it after you had done that. And you're like, oh, that's too much. That's too much framing for me. You can just press delete and it'll make it thinner. And that's what I like. That's, that's the amount that I like. Okay. You make a new layer if you're a photographer and you want to make your uh, copyright, which I do all the time. I'm going to select this. And type in my name um, 
and so I have mine and I have my specific font that I like to use It's for my photography ones and so um, you have to kind of choose a good place and I I'm gonna put mine right here um, but you can't see mine so I'm gonna select my text tool to change this to white just press the double back button um, and there you go there's my signature and I'm like oh that's kind of that's kind of a lot so I'm just gonna change the opacity a little so it doesn't come out too much um, I'm gonna make a new layer over here and this guy's name is David so I'm gonna switch these back to where that's black I'm gonna type in I'm gonna type in David 2011 because that's the year that you graduated um, select that and then I'm gonna select a nice little font for him hmm this one looks good and so you have that there I'm just gonna leave it there and that's pretty much it and there you have your edited photo I hope this helped a lot guys and subscribe for more. I It's summertime, so I'm probably going to make a video each week. Um, so yeah, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye.